So why do, what is JSON? What, what is that about? Uh, what, what are we actually storing the data like in a Mongo database? That's the goal of this lesson. So I just want to tell you guys, first of all, what is JSON? Well, very briefly, think of anything you can see in life. And if you look around your room, what's there? If you find like uh, your table, what's on the table? Well, if we want to describe that, JSON is a way for us to describe the table, the object of the table and what's on there and information of any real life object. We can describe that inside this JSON language. Like in this case, we have some kind of name, which is the first name of John, the last name of Bacchus. He has some contributors, he has some awards. So we can describe a person inside this language. So JavaScript object notation, which is JSON, is an open source human and machine readable standard that facilitates data interchange. So it's a way for us to specify how a real life object or a software object, how, to, how that looks in a language that you can read, that I can read, that anybody with a, a human can read this language. And we can also send that data over the wire. We'll do that later. So that's why we use JSON. And next we'll talk about BSON, which is a build on top of JSON. But before we go there, we have another way to transport data, which is XML. I'm not going to cover that that much, but I'm just going to give you guys a very brief uh, overview of, of XML later if in the end of this series, if you want to use that instead. But we are going to use JSON for all our transportation of data and even our Mongo database is actually using a version of JSON called BSON to store their data inside the database. So let's have a look at what BSON actually is compared to JSON. This is a JSON document, by the way, so that's how you can just get a quick overview. I'll dive into this in the next lessons.